Shine State is home to a pretty large golf community. That's what makes this news so big for all of us. It came also as a surprise to local golfers. And News Channel 8's Melissa Marino joins us live from a <laughs> golf course in Largo. She's having a rough assignment today. What were you getting from players? Happy about it? Not happy about it, Melissa? Well, hey, Stacey and Josh, we've been here out here all day having a good time just talking to all these golfers. You know, they gave us the keys to a golf cart. That's how long we've been out here enjoying time with them. But no, they exactly what Dan said. They are in shock and really a lot of questions about what the future of the sport looks like going on from here. A picture perfect day on the course overshadowed by the controversial announcement that the PGA will merge with live golf. I think you should be good. Right. There you go. At the Largo Golf Course. See, there you go. I'll take I'm that. I'll take that. Yeah. Local players reacting to the news. But very surprising. Um, especially after only about a, a year of live being around, I didn't think that they would do something like that so soon. Are you surprised about this? I was very surprised. From the players to the pay, enthusiasts wonder, will it work? You're going to see a lot of tension on the golf course now obviously because there's people that don't like each other now because of this. They're gonna have a lot of answers to to give, given questions. I mean, these guys turned down millions, hundreds of millions of dollar deals and they stayed loyal. What did they get? And will the move end a feud between the two leagues? A lot of controversy, for sure. Uh, a lot of words exchanged between both sides. In the short term, it's gonna be a mess. In the long term, maybe people will forget about it. Let's hope so. Yeah, let's hope so. And I asked one of the players at least, you know, are you still going to watch? Are you still going to follow these, both of these leagues, still watch the games and all of that? And, you know, the one I spoke with said he wasn't watching the live tournaments. He wasn't watching those players. So now he thinks he'll be more likely to do that. Certainly uh, we'll see what's to come in the coming months and years. Back to you.